This is Tixi. And if I have to say it very simple, then this is a powerhouse of a support system to streamline your support. They have integrations to the biggest tech marketplaces and it's such a solid platform, but they have missed the mark at one spot. Let's start testing it. So with Tixi, there are mainly two main modules. We have the ticket system and then we have the articles and the categories. And let's start by diving into the articles and categories because we can use them later on to answer the ticket system. So signing into Tixi, you have here an overview of your tickets and up here you can see we have articles and customers as well. Customers is because everyone who does a ticket they're required to create a user and that's why we see the customers here. But let's dive into articles. Within articles up here, we can manage both categories and articles. And the categories are just very simple. We can add a thumbnail and we can give it a title. You can see if I want to add a new category, I can do that as well here. We can call this category YouTube. And the category management is very simple. We can enable compact sorting and we can just see our categories. But now we have four categories, so let's go to our articles where I have already written one article, but let's do a new article right here. So the articles are there to help people use your platform or website or whatever it is, because if an article can answer a question, then you don't have to spend your time on answering that question. And I think it's also great to see if multiple questions are coming up, then you should maybe do an article about it. Could also be a great feature to have within Tixi that Tixi can see some trends to see what are asked multiple times and then suggest us to create that article. But here we can see our article, very simple. We can give it a title. The title here I have given and now I will write some text. And within the text, we can add HTML, we can add images, tables, and overall do a lot to make this very easy to read. So now I have a little bit text written as well. And if I wanted to, then I could easily add an image here. I could add a table if that was useful or I can just keep it as is. So over on the right side here, we choose the category. So let's choose YouTube, which we just created. And then we can choose whether the article should be featured or not. This is a great feature if your article is answering questions that are asked a lot of times. For this one, I will not keep it featured. I will just publish it in the YouTube category. So we'll have our first article in the YouTube category. So now it's published. So let's try and go and see how it looks like. So this is the front end part. This is the part that all the customers or the visitors see. So you can see we have two articles and then we have a public ticket down here. First off, the article we just created is here. You can see it's very simple. It's easy to read. And I do actually like the design overall. I think it's simple and it makes it easy for me to read the specific articles. So the article management system is super simple. The same for the category management. And I think that's great. But when we see more and more features come to Tixi and we see that they can start to suggest articles in the tickets and so forth, which I'll show you just in a moment, then we'll get so much more value out of Tixi because right now it's very simple and it works, which is great. But those small synergy effects we can see between the ticket system and the article system will gain so much more value to Tixi. So let's jump over to the ticket system. So within the ticket system, it's very simple. If you have no tickets, there's nothing you can do. But here we have one ticket which I created where I simply asked, Hi, how do I sign up? And I'll show you how it looks like for the customer as well. And what I did was that I automatically answered with an article. This didn't happen completely automatic. I had to do it manually, but the way I did it was post a reply. And then here I can either choose to create saved replies to save time, or I can click on articles and then choose the article right here. What I do find interesting is that the article we just created, I can't see here. Even if I search on it, it's just not showing. I don't know exactly why, but you can see here, I'm choosing the article, how do I sign up? And then I can post a reply. So now I have posted it twice. So you can see the article here and down here as well. I can also like it and I can then choose to close this specific ticket if I think it's answered and it's done. But I can also let the customer close it themselves. 
You can see up here the category is FAQ. That might be the reason why I couldn't choose the YouTube article. But still, in my opinion, I should be able to choose those articles because in this case, it is actually the customer who has chosen the FAQ category. And it's not always that the right category is selected. So if I can't choose the articles from all the different categories, it can create some problems. But let's see how it looks like when I create a ticket as a customer. So as a customer, I see the same we saw just before, but up here I can submit a ticket. And then I choose either a product or a category. And the reason why I can choose a product is because Tixi is integrating with Invato and some other of these theme marketplaces. So we can basically pull in a lot of data to use in Tixi for all of our products. And I'll show you how just in a moment. But for now, let's choose the tasks category here. And then we'll do a subject called, how do I use the task system in this case? I can then write a description where I elaborate on it. See what I would really like to see here from Tixi is that they suggest articles so they can see that I've written something in my description, something in my subject. I wish that they took that and then they see if there were some similarities to the articles already written and then suggested those. That would really be a great benefit because then maybe eight out of 10 times that question would be answered and they wouldn't have to wait on me answering the question and I didn't have to spend time on answering the question. So basically a win-win. But here we have the ticket. I can choose whether it should be public or not. That just means if everyone should be able to see it and then I can submit the ticket here. So now we have our ticket. I want to get started, but I can't figure out how to create a task. So now we are back in the backend part of Tixi and you can see the ticket here. How do I use the task system? So I can now go in and I can post a note. I can see the customer notes or I can post a reply. And again, we can click on articles here and then we can see that there are no articles under the tasks, but I have created an article under the YouTube. So in theory, I can change the category to YouTube here and then I can go to articles and then choose my ticket or my article here but that shouldn't be necessary. I should just be able to choose whatever article I would like to answer with. But I know this article answers the question, so I will post a reply. I could choose to close the ticket, but in this case, I will let the customer close the ticket. So that's the way you communicate between your customers and yourself or even your web visitors. It's very simple and everything is super streamlined. But as mentioned before, you can also integrate with Invato or ThemeForest in this case. And the way that works is in system settings. You can see in system settings, we have a lot of different things. We can work with our custom branding. We can add custom fields like a purchase order or order number if you're a web shop. We can change our homepage display a little bit. But when we go further down, then you can see the Invato integration here. Now, I'm not an author on Invato, so I can't connect my Invato account. But by connecting your Envato account, it will then pull in all of your products and then automatically they will be able to verify whether people have bought your product or not. So they gain the support. And then with each of these products, you set an amount of time they are allowed to get support, which is often six months, sometimes three months. And then if they have surpassed that, then they can buy an extra support month or six months to extend it. It's a super neat feature and I think it's great that they have these integrations. But the thing I mentioned in the beginning of the video is that I'm really missing one important thing, at least if you ask me, and that is live chats integration. Because here I can build up an entire library of articles, but I can only use them to answer the tickets. I can't integrate a live chat and then answer with articles. They could do it very simple with a simple Sapier integration and then I could integrate further over to my live chat because being able to answer with articles both manually but also automatically is just a game changer because right now I have to sit and fill out all the articles in here and then I can't use them elsewhere except for in here. And I think they're already showing now with all of these great integrations that they're ready to provide data multiple places so if we could have a simple Sapia integration or even native integrations to Intercom or Crisp Chat or something third, that would be a great start because then we could use the articles both within Tixi but also within our live chat system. That being said, I think Tixi is definitely the number one choice if you sell 
items on marketplaces, especially the marketplaces here where they integrate with. Because even if they don't integrate with your marketplace, they have the recipe for fast adding another marketplace so they can get started. I want to give Tixi four stars. It's a solid platform, but I'm really missing the live chat integration or maybe just a simple savior integration. And then the, I want more control over how my homepage looks like for Tixi. But if you want to see a platform that has taken it to the next level with error reporting, live chat, support system and more, then you can watch my review of Gleep up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.